That's uh, one of the abstract we are presenting here at the EHA this year. So it is a um, match adjusted indirect comparison of uh, published SS data of uh, momelotinib study, uh, uh, including um, Simplify 1, Simplify 2, and Momentum, and uh, studies of pacritinib, but that included the 200 milligram dose, such as Persis 2 and uh, PAC203, which was the dose finding study. And uh, actually what happened is uh, we compared the safety outcomes as well as uh, anemia outcomes uh, from a poll data of these studies, they were re-weighted for, uh, they, they kind of uh, create a comparable cohort. The matching included the baseline characteristics such as uh, risk score, the IPSS, uh, then baseline anemia, thrombocytopenia or platelets numbers, uh, then spleen sites, TSS, uh, and then uh, basic demographics such as age, sex, percentage of uh, males, and, and so forth and so on. Patients uh, in these cohorts were well matched for this particular study. Uh, what I was mostly interested in was the degree of uh, anemias as well as thrombocytopenias. They were well uh, co correlated in between the cohorts. For about 40% of patients, we presented uh, patients with anemia or transfusion dependency, and about 60% of patients we presented hemoglobin below 10. And then uh, severe thrombocytopenia, where we have approval of uh, pacritinib, has been about 40% in all of these cohort. So very well balanced uh, groups that were then compared for safety outcomes. They were reported and 50% or more of patients on these studies. And then anemia outcomes that included uh, improvement of hemoglobin by one or two grams or deciliters at 24 weeks. And then uh, clinical improvements of anemia, which is defined as improvements of two grams or more that last for eight weeks uh, and then excludes time after transfusion or, or a time with transfusion independency that lasts over eight weeks. So by doing this comparison, uh, actually the results came as mumelotinib showed favorable safety profile for ALTS as well as risk differences for uh, anemia grade three or four, thrombocytopenia grade three or four, as well as a key, hemato uh, key gastrointestinal side effects such as um, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, peripheral edema, and the degree of uh, serious adverse events as well as grade three and grade four adverse events. The same analysis then was done for anemia and actually what we've seen was comparable. Momelotinib was favorable for uh, clinical improvements of anemia as well as anemia's improvements by one gram when compared from these studies over pacritinib. So so and so given the limitations of the studies which include just comparison of available data and consistencies in data, different reporting, different definition, uh, we kind of saw that momelotinib provided us favorable safety profile as well as anemia improvements in patients with myelofibrosis. That included those with JAK inhibitor naive as well as JAK inhibitor exposed patients and may represent a very favorable or um, desired uh, options for these patients as a therapy.